Yes. Welcome to Fresh Air's new inspiring motivational talk. What a day. What a day. <clears throat> so, if you stay persistent in your lane and stay persistent in walking your purpose, things will start aligning. Even when your back's against the wall and you're feeling like all hope is not happening, you know, and people don't understand your story or what you've been doing or how you got to where you are, eventually, hopefully, I can slow down and explain myself properly, but sometimes that's not needed because explaining my every move, that's what God he guides me. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So, if you're persistent with how you walk, and how you pursue your life every day, things start aligning right. Your ancestry... Hmm. Your ancestors, your spiritual guides, and your intuition, and your discernment will help guide you to handle things where probably in the past, you probably weren't able to handle it professionally or with a better mindset. So what does that look like? It means slowing down and focusing in the moment. Even when you feel like everybody around you is like, oh man, you should be struggling right now. You should be struggling right now. But you're not. You're actually trying to... You're, you're triumphing past this. You're being strong about it. You're making sense of things because you slow down and let the path take its course. Things are aligning right now. What does that look like? If you stay patient, even when you feel like you're struggling. Even when you feel like all else has failed and everything you've been doing isn't working, you can make it through. I can tell you that for certain that God, my higher self, has given me the strength to make it through. Yes, it's been a couple hard days, hard holidays, hard new years. Things are aligning. And what I'm doing for myself and what I'm doing for others is all on that divine timing. When you have your thoughts feeling like, gosh, I can't suffer anymore. I can't can't do that anymore. It's all in my thoughts, right? I have to get out of my head sometimes and let the good thoughts come through. The good thoughts are even when you're feeling like, man, I don't know if I have an ounce to give anymore. I don't feel like I could share anymore. I don't feel like I can pursue my goals in life. I don't think I could pursue my purpose because I'm in such a predicament. And that predicament has transformed to a blessing. Because in my past, I guarantee I wouldn't have been handling this at all the way I should have been. The way I should be handling myself. What I mean by that, as long as I focus in myself in the moment, it gave me the opportunity to just see past all that fog, all that storm, all that shadow, all that towering moment where the ground is shaking. It gave me the opportunity to still look up and say, God, I'm still here. I'm here. I'm, give, me a, give me a sign. Give me, give me a sign and confirmation. That you're still with me. But he's with me every day. I have 
that relationship with him. And through him, his help given me the clarity to understand things and handle myself in a better perspective. I can understand and see things from like an outer perspective, from a different perspective. I also give thanks to the people also working hard behind the scenes doing their job too to make this happen and come to fruition. Now what that fruition could be, this is a prophetic message for anybody going through something. You can listen to this and whatever your situation you're going through, you can get through it. It takes persistency and daily routines to find your spiritual self. To find that that person, that 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 child within yourself that's, you know what? I can't wait to start talking about some stories. And you know, I've been holding back. I got some great stories from when I was a child, you know, that a lot of people could probably relate to, but that's not time right now. This time right now is to reflect on all the people that have been in my corner. Even though I feel like I'm all alone and nobody understands me because a lot of people think, oh, you should be struggling. You should be this. You should be that. You should be... Because that's who I used to be. How I would handle things. Do you know what I'm saying? If I was placed all this in the past, you better believe I wouldn't be in the situation I am. I wouldn't have the understanding. Do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have acted properly. I would have gave up and sabotaged. Do you know what I'm saying? That's who I used to be. Because I always felt like I was a victim through my whole life because I was a victim of my own mentality, my own thinking. My own thinking got me in the situations. Nobody else on most of my adult life, do you know what I'm saying? My adult life, I have myself to blame in my situation I am in. Everything's a divine timing, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everything's timed for the world. Do you know what I'm saying? The world does mysterious things every day. The universe does mysterious things every day. Now, this big awakening in 2024 is going to be coming. I got some good things coming. You know, I... I Really wish I could talk about some of my personal life, but a lot of that I need to leave out. Because when it comes to personal, personal, personal things, sometimes you gotta leave them out. Because it's not for everybody to hear. I don't wanna trigger people, make you feel or sad, or feel like they have a need to do or help me. Do you get what I'm saying? Or help me financially or, or whatever. Get me out of this financial grind. But it's okay. I got this. God's got me. God's got you. <laughs> what is the ticket? The ticket is focusing in the moment. Believe in yourself. Believe in God. Have that relationship. When you truly have that relationship and get saved, you won't know what it's like to ever go back. To, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I f almost feel like if I go outside and let my ego take over, I can already see myself slide away, getting back into bad habits, getting into uh, certain behaviors that keep me stagnant, keep me from my purpose, keep me from my blessings, keep me from my... And it's 5.55 and my, my alarm just went off. I have my alarm set every day. Just for a reminder. At 11.11... And 555. Keeps me spiritually connected. Keeps me whole. You got a morning one, you got an afternoon one. Also, whenever I use the microwave, I use 555. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> I hope that this can help somebody get through what they're going through. I don't know if you can just go off on faith value or faith alone that I'm doing it, just trust in me and trust in your process and trust in yourself and trust in love, respect yourself, that you will also have that opportunity. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give up. 
Now it's been a it's been a trial and tribulation, I'll tell you that. That's when you go outside and get some fresh air and breathe and thank God for this other day that He gave me clarity and understanding. The blessings are still to come. Believe in yourself. Don't give up. Have that relationship with your higher self. Have your relationship with God. Give you that opportunity to listen. Have that intuition to help guide you through your days. Guide you through your daily routines. Guide you through your opportunities. Wow, there's a lot of traffic all of a sudden. Wow, here we go again. It's like a parade. Holy shit. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'll slow down to say hello. Might as well wave like I'm Santa Claus or something. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. Four cars. <clears throat> anyway. 11-11 <clears throat> on the clock. And I want you guys to understand that. Believe in yourself. Believe in your intuition. Believe in your higher self that will carry you through. Make sure that you give yourself time every day to have that relationship with yourself too. Now, being comfortable with yourself is not always going to be easy. Oh, here we got another car. Wow, that's six now. Look at this. What time is five at the bottom? Wow. You know, every time I go outside, man, it's like, I'm not saying I'm all at all that or anything, but it just seems like people just flock to me, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Pets, everything. I mean, squirrels, birds, trees. Trees just go calm around me. It's been calm again. The clouds. It's pushing. Look at that opening right there. There's another car. Wow. Whew. Okay. That's interesting. Is it that time of the day? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I pray that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I pray that you will find your discernment in your higher self. And I pray that you will give yourself that opportunity. Here's another car. Wow, that's eight. Eight cars. And brights on. And wow. And slow. Wow. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. Why are you going to return and do any... What? Like you were signaling the other car? Like, what are you guys really doing? Anyways, I hit, pardon the interrupting. <laughs> I pray that no weapon formed against you will prosper. I pray that you will find your higher self, that you will have discernment to understand that a power greater than yourself will help carry you through and help you find your per person within you to give you strength to carry through. Here's another car. Wow. That's nine. Not going to lie. And with the brights on. Oh God! What in the f man? One of these times, I'm just <clears throat> I get it. It's a road, whatever, but not right now. God damn! Y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all have a great day. I hope this finds good message for you to help carry you through. I hope this gives you a little more clarity and that no matter what, you can carry through. God bless. Have a wonderful day.